This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson is part of the Express course and part of Course E. In the Express course, it is Lesson 21, and in Course E, it is Lesson 16. Functions with the Harvester Puzzle 5. I feel so functional. Eh? Eh? Now there are multiple pumpkins in each patch. Oh, gosh. Look carefully at the function definition, which are these things. Here, this is a function definition. This is a function definition. And so we have two. So look carefully at the function definition below to figure out how to use each function. And remember, to use a function, you say its name, right? So function. And then once we say its name, it will, I'll grab this, drop it here, it will run. So the computer will look, check, square for corn. Oh, where's that? Ooh, ooh, boom. And it runs the code inside, then comes back and runs any code we have beneath. All right. So what are we going to want to do on this one? Pumpkin and pumpkin. So this is similar to the last. I think I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to use loops, but let's see. Let's use repeat until there are pumpkins. And so until there are pumpkins, what do I want to do with each square? Well, I'm going to want to move forward and then check for corn. Move forward and then check for corn. Move forward, check for corn. Move forward, check for corn. All right, so action I'm going to say then is move forward and uh, run the function, check for corn. Okay, so forward, check around for corn, forward, check for corn. And remember, this will keep repeating until we get to a pumpkin. So I'll move forward, boom. I'm going to hit step to watch it. So repeat until there are pumpkins. Right now I just check and see if there's a pumpkin. Nope, so I move forward. And then I jump into here and I check if there's corn. No corn. So now I'm back here. And I go back to repeat. Well, are there any pumpkins? Okay, well then move forward since we're still not at a pumpkin. Now I run the function. If there is corn, is there any corn? Yes, there is. So I'll pick the corn and then repeat pumpkin. Nope, not at a pumpkin. So I move forward and I'm going to check for corn. Is there any corn? False. There's no corn. So I will not pick corn. Hit the bottom of the function and go back and repeat. Okay. And we can keep going. So that's good for now. Now, once we're at a pumpkin, reset, uh, pick pumpkin. Okay, now I need to get up and around. So I'll turn left, it looks like, and then move forward, move forward. Turn left. And then once I turn left, I can basically do this again, right? I want to repeat until I'm at this pumpkin. And what do I want to do? Well, I want to move forward. Oops. I want to use my loop. Repeat until pumpkin. Action. What do I want to do? I want to move forward. And then I want to run the function check for square for corn. Oh, I forgot. There can be multiple pumpkins. So we don't want to pick a pumpkin. We want to use the function get all of the pumpkins because it might be multiple. And so that will run this function right here. And then we want to run this function again, get all pumpkins. After I move forward and check each square for corn, pick the corn, and then once I stop, I'll be at this pumpkin. Zoop. And so once this loops over, once I'm at a pumpkin, we stop running the stuff inside. I go beneath it, and I can get all the pumpkins. Let's test it out. But uh, ooh, these are getting tricky. Awesome. Let's keep going. 